Chapter 11 The Pipe Lighter For goodness sake, leave that thing alone and let's have some peace and quiet. Any letters for me? I don't think so, Dad. But the evening post hasn't come in yet. Late again. It's just the same as the rest of the public services. Nothing seems to be working properly. Mary tells me the telephone is out of order again. It's the weather, I expect. What do you mean? What's the weather got to do with it? I thought perhaps the snow. Well, don't think. It's probably due to carelessness or laziness. And goodness knows I get enough of that at the office. Nobody seems to understand the meaning of the word work nowadays. Which reminds me, shouldn't you be doing your homework? We've broken up, Dad. What? Already? It's only three days to Christmas. I should have thought Christmas Eve would have been soon enough. I shall be at the office till then. Yes, but business is different. So it seems. You'll discover that for yourself some day. Life isn't all pleasure when you've left school. Nor while you're there. Nonsense, my boy, nonsense. Why, my school days were the happiest time of my life. Uncle Tom doesn't say that. He says he had a rotten time. Oh, does he? He's probably forgotten. He hasn't forgotten the beatings he used to get. I've no doubt he richly deserved them. If he had done his lessons properly and behaved himself, he wouldn't have been punished. Everybody knows that. By the way, don't you usually bring home a report at the end of the term? Yes, Dad. Then where is it? Why haven't I seen it? I was waiting till after supper to show it to you. Whatever for? No time like the present, my boy. Out with it. And let's see what your masters say about you this time. If I remember rightly, you were pretty low in your form last summer. But I was in the second eleven cricket team and did a lot of swimming for the school. Well, well, that was something in your favour. All the same, I don't pay a lot of money for you to learn nothing but games. It's work that counts every time and don't you forget it. Now, let's see the report if you haven't lost it. Oh, no, Dad. Here it is. Hmm, not too clean. However, Scripture, Making Steady Progress, CR. Who's CR? Mr. Reed. He takes us for Scripture and Maths. Hmm, a queer combination. And yet, I don't know. I suppose there's a certain amount of arithmetic in the Bible and prayer book. English composition shows originality. That might mean anything. Grammar, good, careful work. Reading, good. Writing, very fair. Spelling, improving. Thank heaven for that. The letters you wrote me when I was abroad were full of mistakes. History, promising. Geography, good. Civics, what are they? It's a new subject, Dad. The head takes us in that. Yes, but what's it all about? Oh, everyday news and politics and that sort of thing. The old man sometimes calls it current affairs. Does he? It seems to me you can get all that from the newspaper. However, he says here you take an intelligent interest, so I suppose we must be thankful for small mercies. What's next? Oh, Latin. Not much use for it myself, nor have you, it seems. Only fair, your report says. But... No need to apologize. It's a dead language anyhow. No commercial value whatever. Cut it out. I can't till I'm in the fifth. Pity. You might be doing something more useful. Still, I recognize the school must provide for all tastes. What's this now? Ah, mathematics. I'm glad they put arithmetic first. 
Good heavens, you've actually got a highly satisfactory. I thought you were a fool at the subject. So did I. It, it must be a mistake. I mean... Well, your master ought to know. I can't imagine he'd give you praise for doing well if you hadn't. No, but... Your algebra and geometry are not so bad either. I'm beginning to think you've changed for the better. What have they given me for art and woodwork, Dad? They are my best subjects. Oh, you think so, do you? Then you're going to be disappointed. It says here you're only fair in both. Not that it matters all that much. Any fool can draw and use a screwdriver. But I'm the best in the form at drawing, and I've done awfully well at woodwork this term. Well, here it is, in black and white. You can't go beyond the marks. Forty percent in art and thirty-nine in woodwork. It beats me. Why worry? It's the commercial subjects that count. As a matter of fact, I'm quite pleased with this report. It shows you are beginning to understand your duty. Here's half a crown for you, and don't spend it wastefully. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>